Win number one of the season is in the books, and Sporting hope to keep the dubs rolling after a strong 2-1 win over the Seattle Sounders on match day 11. In this week's first team report, we'll revisit that exciting 2-1 win over Seattle, give you keys to SKC's upcoming home match against Minnesota United, and details on where to watch that game against one of SKC's Western Conference rivals on Saturday night. But first, let's go behind the shield to relive all of the action and emotion from Sporting's first win of the season against the Sounders. Although they haven't scored goals, it's a team that on paper and in, if you watch some of their games, they still have that same identity of how they want to play. They want to keep the ball. They want to keep possession. It's about that execution when it comes to the final third where they've really been struggling and lacking. And coming to a place like this, you got to be first and foremost ready to match the intensity of what Seattle brings, especially at home, because this is a team that gets the crowd involved early on. They have quality in different areas. They can strike you in transition. So being able to weather that, sometimes that's with the ball, sometimes that's without it, just doing some dirty running. In order to allow yourself to have the ability to play, you've got to match that intensity and earn that right first and foremost. Thumbs around today, boys. It's got to be together. Exactly. Not one person is going to get us out of this. Every single one here. Right. Let's go help each other play for each other. Together, let's go. Yeah, we have to be animals, I guess. Animals. Yeah. Go, 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 Sporting KC who kicked things off, attacking from left to right. Shallow back to the edge of the box, got Kinder inside the area, and an opening goal for Sporting KC. Four minutes in, and Sporting Kansas City have taken the lead in Seattle. Sporting Kansas City delivering a message at Lumen Field. Tommy timed his run to perfection, uh, and what a perfect start for Peter Vermees' men. 1-0. Here's a ball through to Polino. Polito doubles Sporting KC's advantage. The tables have turned at Lumen Field. Well, I was just setting up my story, Nate, for Tommy and how he's grown into this match. And then he finds a little pocket of space. And what an outstanding ball. Alan Polito's long wait for a goal is over. And SKC belying the current form and position in the league. Two DPs playing a role in getting the scoring started here at Lumen Field. What a start for Sporting Kansas City. Lumen Field is silent. They are quiet here. They are shell-shocked. First goal for Alan Polito, and he goes over and he hugs the trainer. Those are your lifeline right, right there. Yeah, that's yeah. that's your family. It, it's been excellent, but look, we're only halfway there, right? Wow. No, only halfway there. Can't get too excited right now. Uh, excellent first half performance, and I guarantee you that Peter Vermees is saying that exact same thing in the locker room. It is not over. You zero, zero. Yeah, you can't just come out and sit back and not do what we're doing. There's so many good performances. Morris, what a run, just one. Lacerda, well defended. I love seeing this. Just being aggressive, take it on your defender. Well defended by Sporting Kansas City. Lacerda, really good defensive play. Morris on his left foot. And Melia just about gets it over. Headed away by Espinosa. And there is the final whistle. Sporting Kansas City will not go quietly into the night. Uh, as, I, as I've tried to say many a times, there's no doubt that the guys were dejected because of where we were and, and having not won, but they haven't uh, given up or they haven't, they're not in a place where they don't believe. And so they continue to work very hard. And, and as I've, I've told them that, you know, I, I believe, I personally believe that we have an excellent roster and we have the potential to be a really, really good team. And so we just need to keep building towards that and, and you gotta stay away from what everybody says about you. You just gotta keep thinking about how do we get better and I think you guys are doing that. Different level. That's called the leadership by example, John.
Rolling back the highlights from this one, Sporting jumped out to an early lead. Fourth minute, Eric Tommy scores his first goal of the season and first since September 17th of 2022. Shallowy and Kinda were credited for the assist, and it was the first goal the Sounders conceded at home this season. SKC then doubled their lead in the 31st. This time, it was Eric Tommy setting up the play, connecting with Alan Polito in the box. Polito, who hadn't scored an MLS goal since August of 2021 after missing all of last season due to injury, showed so much emotion in his celebration and sent Sporting to the locker room with a 2-0 lead at the half. Then in the 66th minute, Logan and Denbe gets called for a foul in the box, setting up a chance from the penalty spot for the Sounders. Nico Ladero steps up, sends Tim Melia the wrong way, and pulls one back for Seattle. With about 20 minutes plus stoppage time remaining, Sporting were able to weather the storm defensively and keep the Sounders from finding the equalizer, closing out the game with three hard-earned points on the road. After the match, manager Peter Vermees addressed the media and said that while he's pleased with his team's performance, there's still a lot of work to be done. What I do believe is that we are, we are building towards who uh, we can be. And I think tonight was a very good uh, representation of that. Is that it? No, not even close. There's so much more that we can do better and we'll keep working towards that. The win marked Sporting's first multi-goal game in 12 matches with goals coming from designated players Eric Tommy and Alan Polito. Here's what Vermees had to say about what was working offensively for his team in this game. I think there's a combination of things. For sure, I think that the guys are, are a little more free. At the same time, I also think that uh, Gotti helps the group immensely when he's on the field. And I also think that other guys are getting fitter and informed that have been playing for quite some time. Polito also spoke with the media and talked more about his goal celebration with the Sporting KC medical staff. It's only for say thank you, you know about for, for all the time in, in, in his he work with me, working with me about my injury. So I say to him, if I score my first goal in the season, so I go with you about say about the hand, about say thank you for all the time because this injury is, is no is no easy and and we work like two three times together so. Uh, only for say thank you for everything and, and, and because I think the, the more important thing is like uh, when you say thank you for all the people and start with you and, and working with you. Next up, SKC welcome Minnesota United to town. It's been called the nicest rivalry in Major League Soccer. However, SKC not looking to play so nice this weekend. They need to start collecting wins, especially at home. But as it turns out, the Loons do as well. They've dropped four of their last five, the most recent, a 3-2 loss to Vancouver last weekend. And while designated player Emmanuel Reynoso has finally returned to Minnesota after nearly four months back home in Argentina, he still has some work to do to get back onto the field following a suspension received for failing to report to preseason training earlier this year. Whether Reynoso is available or not, the main key for Sporting KC in this game is to build on the momentum from that first win against Seattle. Sunday marked the first time in 603 days that Sporting had all three of their designated players, Eric Tommy, Alan Polito, and Gadi Kinda in the starting lineup. All three contributed to Sporting's two goals in the win over Seattle and were incredibly productive on the night. Sporting's back line will also look to build on a strong performance. The team conceded just once from the penalty spot and showed a ton of commitment and concentration, defending set pieces and making it hard for the Sounders to create a lot of clear-cut chances. Tune in this weekend when Sporting KC take on Minnesota United, Saturday night, 7.30 p.m. Central, right here on MLS Season Pass on the Apple TV app. And be sure to select our local radio broadcast with myself and Jacob Peterson while you watch.